here The Watchman presents The Future of America with Mike Kerr. Isaiah 21, 6 says, For thus the Lord said unto me, Go, set a watchman, let him declare what he sees. Today, Mike Kerr and his fellow watchmen discuss current events through a biblical lens and how these events affect us, the future of America, and the world we live in. Good morning, everybody. I'm Mike Kerr, and this is The Future of America, the show where we talk about the truth and what's really happening across our nation. Today, I'm excited to have with me a dear friend, brother in Christ, Mr. Randy Conway. Randy, thank you for joining us. Oh, it's my great pleasure to be with you, Mike. Great to see you again. Good to see you. Now, folks, Randy has something we're going to talk about today. And it deals with freedom, freedom in the kingdom of God. And here's the interesting thing that you should be thinking about right now. The White House, that place in D.C. where that guy lives. Today, there was a news story that came out that talked about that guy blaming the price of fuel in America and everything else that's going on in our country on that bug that's been put upon us. And further, America has become a nation of either freedom fighters or them. And you need to decide which one you are. And Randy's got a way that you can serve not only the United States, but you can also serve the kingdom of the Lord. Randy, what is it that we can do moving forward? Mike, I am so glad you asked me that question, and I'm so glad you're having me on to to, uh, share this with you. Most people, uh, before I dive right into that, are familiar with me from the poetry. But if you look at at the latest poetry I've done, in fact, uh, the last poem I put up on YouTube only lasted 41 minutes before they banned it and canned it. So I had to put it over on Rumble. Uh, But uh, I hint at these things. In fact, it started with uh, the Hear the Watchman in Dallas with a poem called The Age of Deception that I did specifically for Hear the Watchman at that that conference. And it has moved from there to the data will be our demise. And and, if you haven't seen Can You See, Can You Hear, I encourage you to go to YouTube, Brandy Conway Poems, and look at Can You See, Can You Hear. But if you want to see the one that was banned, you, it's called Tolerating Totalitarianism. You got to go to Rumble. There's not very many videos on my Rumble channel yet, but it's, it's over there. And God has just taken me from the poetry and led me down this path, continually becoming more and more politically um, I don't want to say active, but politically um, uh, centric about the poetry and how God in himself is government. And we have lost that as as followers of Christ. We've lost that as the church. And and we try to continue to keep government and God separated. And as long as we do that, we're going to keep living in this messed up world we're living in because God is government. And what you referred to is what is called a authentication. Now, some of you may have heard that. It's, it's literally exploding across the internet. The uh, uh, idea and the process of authentication, and you're going to say, okay, what in the world is authentication? Well, authentication is exactly what it sounds like. It is becoming authentic, because what you and I didn't realize that when we were born, our birth, our birth certificate is a financial instrument. It's literally on bond paper. It's traded. We're, we're being trafficked, Mike, every day. We're being sold and traded as human commercial labor trafficking. And we have, I have been very active in uh, uh, anti-abortion uh, legislation. I have testified in front of Senate committees. Uh, I have done like many others, like yourself, we've, we've taken an active role. You've taken an active role and trying to support veterans very much. Your, a lot of your ministry has been supporting veterans. But what we didn't know was um, all of that is being supported by us. The uh, 
the uh, guy you talked about this morning um, who, uh, <laughs> who wants to blame everything, you know, uh, and, and you're right, it's, it's, it's either them or us. And that line in the sand is, is becoming very defined. But uh, we're supporting that all the time. You know, I can stand out on the street corner all I want with my sign, and I'm still funding that. When I found out I was funding this beast system, I was livid. And God led me down a path uh, of how I can stop that funding because authentication, in order to make that bond and in order to sell it, they're literally selling it as a future. Uh, it's like an actuary for uh, life insurance. You know, the actuaries, they can determine very, very close depending on your geographic location that you live, your, your occupation, your hobbies, your family health history, how long you're gonna live. Well, it's the same thing within the, the birth certificate. They know how much labor they're gonna get out of you when you're born uh, within a, a, a degree of, of uh, error. And they sell the, as, a, as a future. And I've been bought by China, the Pope, you know, I, I have literally been to websites and pulled down uh, all the times I've been sold. Well, in order to sell that, they can't sell a person. They have to sell a fiction. And they created fictions. And a, what's a fiction? An LLC is a fiction. The only thing that gives it life is, is the people who own the LLC. That's all that gives it life. So they basically, in order to make it understanding here or understandable, they created a fiction out of you. They created this little LLC. Well, the process of authentication, then now I am going from being a fiction, a make-believe into becoming real once again. And how do I do that? Well, that bond paper is a title and they hold title, use, and interest. That's important to remember, Mike. They hold title, use, and interest. You do not. And God bless these people who say, well, just let them come to my door, you know, as they talk about this bug and, and their, their uh, uh, remedy for that bug. And if you're not going to take their remedy, they're going to come door to door. And God bless those people who are taking that stand. But wouldn't it be better if they couldn't even come to your door rather than having to put up that fight when they get to your door? Because as long as they're the title holder and I sent you a they can stick them <laughs> if they want to because they own them. That's a true statement. Wouldn't it be better that rather than having an exemption to be an exception? And that's what authentication does. It makes you an exception to their rules. It makes you an exception. Now, instead of them holding title, use, and interest, I have become the holder of record in due course. I am now the holder of that title and I have title use and interest and I will administrate that. And I'm gonna give you a, a quick example with my hands because uh, it's easier to see if, if I can hold my hands up here. And over here, this is the fiction they created. This is the real me. And I look over here and I see, oh, here's somebody, it has my same name in all caps. And you're gonna say, oh, well, what difference does that make? That's Capitus Dominutio Maxima. You can look it up in law. It is the lowest form of bondage that exists when all other rights have been taken away. Uh, it comes from uh, lit literally Roman civil law, which we live under right now. And I see this fiction they created that has my name and they own this. So what I have done, the real me said, okay, uh, I'm going to inform Mr. Government that uh, I didn't ask you to create this fiction, but I see that you did. I see in law that you said I only had seven months from the time of my birth to claim the title to this. Oh, I couldn't read yet at seven months, so forgive me. Uh, <laughs> so now I have requested of the Secretary of State of the state I was born in and the Secretary of State of the United States to authenticate this fiction, and I moved it over here. Now I hold title use and interest. They no longer hold title use and interest. I hold title use and interest. There are patriot myths out there and patriot movements that say you want to get rid of this. You want to kill this straw man, they call it. Um, 
you won't do commerce. You will suffer greatly. That that is a we found a huge mistake. You just want to be the title holder. You want to own it, uh, because this fiction paid in uh, for FICA and Social Security, and and since I'm way over sixty five. Uh, and I'm the administrator now for this fiction, uh, and this fiction gets a social security check for every month. And because I'm such a good guy, I administrate that for him every month and take care of it for him. So in a nutshell, we're, we're moving ownership, title use and interest through the power of authentication. In fact, I did, a, we, um, my partner and I, Rick Hidalgo, formerly of the Hidalgo Show, started a new Rumble channel and YouTube channel called The C2K Report. The C2K report, C2K actually stands for the clash of two kingdoms. Because Mike, you are so aware of this. Every morning when you get up, you can't help but witness the clash of those two kingdoms every day, constantly. So we started the clash of two kingdoms report, the C2K report. And our very second report was the power of authentication. And we walked through every step of how to become the uh, holder of record in due course. Once you're the holder of record, here's what happens, Mike. The former holder of record, they get notification that I have now, I'm now holding the original record, the original document. I am the holder of that record. If they try to do anything with the, the record that they have, because I have applied what's called a counter deed now, uh, to my authentication documents, that counter deed actually destroys any previous deed. And again, we go through that in, in very great detail for those who are interested in an in hour, hour and a half long learning. You know, they're, they're not about uh, cheerleading for the next guy that come into office. They're not about exposing uh, what's going on in Babylon. It's all just teaching about how you do this. So people who are interested can go and, and accomplish this but if they try to sell that again, that's fraudulent. That is committing financial fraud. It's almost like counterfeiting. It is toxic to them. I am now an exception to their rule. I am self-governing the way we were intended to self-govern. I became now a state national, one of we the people, no longer one of their held owned slaves because you know, there was, there was an event that took place in January where a lot of people showed up to say, hey, we just want our voice to be heard and we want fair elections. But why wasn't our voice heard and why was it turned into a media circus and created their own agenda out of it? And they applied names like insurrection and things to that that were not true. How was it that they didn't hear that many people just saying, Please hear us. We want to have fair and honest elections because does the master have to listen to the slave or does the slave have to listen to the master? They did not hear we the people. They just heard their slaves whom they hold title use and interest over making a ruckus and they just sent them back to the shed, you know, to strap them to the whipping post again is what they've done. Well, it Randy. is my goal. Randy, so you're let's let's sort of look at this a little bit. You're not saying I'm going to become sovereign and I'm going to move out to the badlands all by myself and I won't obey any laws or the constitution. You're just saying I'm taking back ownership of myself, so to speak. Oh, Mike, I am so glad you said that. I am so glad you said that because there are so many good patriot movements and I don't want to, to uh, diss any of them because they're, they're researching and they're looking and they're want, they know something's wrong, but you're so right. I don't want to be some sovereign because there's only one sovereign. He is the king of kings and he is the Lord of lords. Uh, and and that, is, that takes them down a path of, one, you, you better have a law degree. You better have studied for like the, the next uh, 30 years and, and know every jot and tittle. Uh, I, don't, I don't have that time or that desire. I am just taking ownership away from it. You explained it in a nutshell in a single sentence so perfectly. And this is not a sovereign citizens movement, although I do become 
sovereign in my house. I am outside. In fact, I have literally uh, learned to sign documents with the government after my name. It literally states anytime that all caps name is used or my social security number is used, I literally sign by putting without the United States, without representation. Uh, and, and another shorter version is that I put UTA, which means under trust agreement. It doesn't mean I'm not a citizen. I'm more of a, a U.S. citizen now than I've ever been. I am back into being a, you know, formerly we were Missourians or Virginians or Pennsylvanians or, uh, you know, whatever. One of the 50 states in union and the government and the Constitution was a limiting document to the government, and we were responsible for our, each our own house. Now, uh, I will tell you what sets this apart from other patriot movements. We're not writing documents and saying, look here, you know, Mr. Secretary of State, or look here, you know, Mr. President, look here at this document I wrote. So what? Authentication is literally something that is required and it is a duty of the Secretary of State that you were born in and the Secretary of State of the United States. I'm going to hold up a, a copy of a document here in front of my camera. And I hope you see it. You see, that's issued to me by the United States Department of State. And down here in this corner, these are the codes and statutes and rules of procedure that require him to authenticate the documents I asked him to authenticate. So I'm requesting of them, they're giving it back to me, and it completely changes my status in their eyes. I am literally without their system. I am outside the Babylonian system. I have just taken the scripture, come out of her, my people, and made it tangible, not just a spiritual idea. I just took the scripture, be in the world, but not of the world, and took it from a spiritual concept to a livable reality. Um, and I stopped that funding. I stopped them from selling my birth certificate over and over and over and funding who knows what, because I wasn't getting any of those funds. It sure wasn't going to, you know, pay off any national debt. Uh, who knows where that's going, brother? And yeah, what I is mean, being done with it? You're, you're, you're really on to something here, Randy. So look, if people want to get in touch with you and find out more about this, how, how do they reach you? You can reach us, uh, in fact, answer any questions. We do not leave any question unanswered at the c2kreport.com. You can contact us there. The email is info at c2kreport.com. And well, awesome. Listen, folks, it's your freedom. Own it. So I, I want you to like look into this, watch Randy's uh, YouTubes and his rumbles. And get in touch with him and take a look at what this really means to America today. Randy, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, brother. It's my great pleasure. And I'll tell you what, guys, we are going back to Dallas, Texas to put a Hear the Watchman conference on. Uh, it'll be March, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll be March 17th through 20th at the Hilton Executive Lakes Conference Center and Hotel, where it all started for Here the Watchmen. And the name of the conference is Eyes to See, a biblical and practical perspective on where we are today. So go to our website, check it out, get in there, get involved. Randy will be there in some way, shape or form, I know. I think I'm gonna try and talk him into driving Dr. Michael Lake down. Uh, who's speaking at the conference, but avail yourself of this information. It's important. And remember, as I always say here on the future of America, it's simple. Never, ever give up and always help your brothers and sisters. We'll see you next time on the next episode of the future of America. God bless. To support the work of Hear the Watchman, find a way to get involved, or learn more about upcoming events, visit our website at www.hearthewatchmanmen.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Hear the Watchman Journey, and be sure to share our content on your social media. God bless you, and thanks for your prayers and support. And until next time, go be a watchman on the wall. 
and declare all that God has shown you.